Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I am fully aware that you have not seen me here in a few months at this point. I am so sorry about that, but I have a special surprise, which you probably already know from the thumbnail or the title that I want to share with you all. That is the reason that I have not been posting for the last few months. And that would be that I did get a puppy. So this is Nimbus. He is a 15 week old black pug and I love him. He is definitely my baby. I have had him for, let's see if he's 15 weeks. I got him at nine weeks. So I've had him for six weeks now and he has completely changed my life. Um, I feel like it has been um, kind of an ordeal, kind of figuring out how to adjust to his schedule and figuring out training and supervising him and you know all of the things. And so making videos has just kind of fallen off my radar a little bit as I've been adjusting to that. Um, but I'm hoping that moving forward, I can have lots of videos and lots of videos about him. Um, so I'm definitely not just dipping from my YouTube, but I just needed a little bit of a break to adjust. So a lot of the people in my life were very surprised when I got a dog. It was a little bit, I don't want to say spontaneous, but a little bit sudden. Um, so I feel like for a really long time I had been saying like, oh, I wish I had a dog. I wish I had an animal. Um, like I would love to have a pet. Uh, but in my head, it just didn't feel feasible. Um, that being said, uh, I have been working from home for a while and I recently found out that my work is actually moving to a permanent hybrid model, meaning that I will be working from home three days a week um, indefinitely. So even after the pandemic and whatnot ends. And so I felt like now that I'm home all the time would be the best time to get a puppy. So I decided to get one and that very same night I, uh, found a bunch of different resources online and a lot of them were like different breeders that you would have to mail the puppy to you or not mail but um, like fly them to you um, or travel a really far ways to get them but I did come across a seller on Instagram who was actually only an hour away from me and they had one boy puppy left so I and I wanted a boy um, so I messaged her and I asked if I could come see the puppy the next day and I told myself that I was just gonna go look at the puppies, see what I thought about them, but I'm sure everyone else in my life knew I was coming home with a puppy that night. I do think I have some footage from that night, so I'll go ahead and insert that now. Dana Lynn, where are we going? We are going to pick up my puppy. <gasps> a puppy? A what puppy. type of puppy Maybe. are we we're picking up? We're looking at a puppy. Yeah, we're just okay. looking at a puppy. Wait, can you turn off the music real quick? Or lower the volume? So we're picking up a, a looking at a puppy. Is we're that what you're saying? looking at a puppy. What type of puppy? A pug. <gasps> a pug? Yes, we're just, we're just looking. We're just looking. We're window shopping. We're window shopping. But we're, we brought a crate. <laughs> and a leash. Just in case. And we're stopping by Walmart. <laughs> we're stopping by Walmart afterwards only if we get the puppy. I see. We're just looking. Cool, 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 right cool. Now. Have you thought of names? Yeah, his name will be Nimbus. Nimbus? The Nimbus 3000? Is this a white pug? No, it's a black pug. <gasps> a black pug. Yeah. Ooh. Well, we're en route. We're en route. We will talk to you again when we have a Nimbus pug. in our lap. Woohoo!
see, I absolutely fell in love the second I saw him and I brought him home that very same night. So it happened very fast. Um, as soon as I decided I was getting a puppy, I found a puppy and brought him home. I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit longer of a process just because I know normally that you you know would sign up and get put on a list and have to wait for the puppy to actually breed so i fully expected this to be a little bit longer of our process but um it just kind of happened i will say he's not from a breeder um they were just a family who actually had two pugs and they had not fixed the male yet he was still a little bit too young to be fixed and um he impregnated their female pug and so they had a litter of puppies so they were selling them and I got one, but that's kind of where we're at. So like I said, I've had him for about six weeks now and my life has, I feel like, kind of entirely revolved around him. Um, it, like I was saying earlier, has completely changed my life. I feel like I have like an actual baby now. Um, I know it's not and I know that's kind of offensive to people who do have babies, um, but he definitely is a responsibility. Um, so when I go out, I have to make sure he's not home for too long alone or if he is, he has a babysitter, um, you know, making sure that, oh, did you get scared? <laughs> he wants to put his head on my shoulder. That's what he keeps aiming for. There you go, buddy. Um, he's like the most cuddly little puppy ever. He always wants to be on top of you. He wants to put his head on your shoulder all the time. He loves to sit on your shoulder, but I digress. Yes, so you know all of those things, making sure he's fed on time, making sure he's walked all the time. Um, so it's definitely been a change in schedule and a change in just you know thinking about his needs and making sure all of those are being met as well. Um, so it has definitely been an adjustment period, but I do not regret it. Um, I love him so much and I think he's the cutest thing ever and I feel like he has brought such joy to my life these past few weeks. Um, I will admit that the first few weeks were kind of terrible. Um, I was like, did I make a mistake? This is so hard. Um, but I do think that after, honestly, after he got potty trained, I feel like things got a lot better. Um, and after he kind of stopped trying to chew on everything, um, I feel like it's been a lot more chill since then so i'm very thankful that those things have happened i didn't really plan this video out um i kind of just came on here to give an update for why i haven't posted in so long and to just show you cute little nimbus and to let you know that there might be a lot more puppy content coming your way i'm hoping to um you know make some different videos about him and about what toys i bought him maybe what he eats i don't know so like i said this channel is kind of ever evolving and it just kind of depends on what i'm interested in the moment and right now i feel like my life kind of revolves around dogs um, and this dog in particular so you'll probably get a lot of dog content so hopefully you like that if not sorry um, I'm sure I will have some reaction content as well um, but other than that go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite dog breed is and if you have a dog what is their name and other than that I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I am trying to get monetized here and I am about halfway there in terms of subscribers so it would really help me out if you did subscribe and other than that goodbye from both Nimbus and I do you want to say bye you can get put in your bed after this bye bye look at the camera bye bye we will see you next week bye everyone he's a mama lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that features you found the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her you see her walking down the boulevard she got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah